The mountain's about 130 miles north of Boston, and according to their Facebook page this mm -hmm. morning, they got about two feet of snow yesterday. But Grant, my question for you, and we're doing this because we were talking about it right. yesterday, right. is why does this area of New Hampshire, and Mount Washington in particular, get such weird weather? Not even the tallest peak in yeah. the eastern U.S., which is really interesting. In fact, just side note, it's 10 below on Mount Washington right now with a wind chill of 51 below. Oh, my goodness. But let's talk about the wind speeds here. This is, uh, it's all about the topography, which is really interesting. So here's Mount Washington there in New Hampshire. So you have to look to the west. The, the mountains leading toward Mount Washington form sort of like a V or an inward facing V. So as these storm systems roll in, the winds are literally funneled right toward right. Mount Washington. So that's the main reason why Mount Washington so sees the crazy like a, a, winds. A wall for that wind to get right out. Exactly, yeah. but when you look at the bigger picture and you have these common storm tracks, this is kind of, I guess, the, the ultimate cause for it. Right. In addition to that funneling effect, all these lines here represent the most common storm tracks that we see. And these storms steered by the jet stream. And if you focus in there on where Mount Washington is, you can really spot, see it, right? it all just kind of, you yeah. know, comes together over Mount Washington, giving them those crazy, crazy weather conditions. So interesting. What's that tallest mountain, by the way? Uh, Mount Mitchell? Is it Mitchell? Yeah. 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 I think, I think we looked that up yesterday, yeah. right?